Hey, what's up guys? It's Kobe Cheese. Guess what? You're watching another League of Legends commentary strategy video. Today we're going to be doing some Lux. And uh, I really like Lux. She's a whole lot of fun. She's not going to be your top pick in a ranked game or anything like that. But uh, if you're playing some fun games, she can definitely be played well. Uh, I rarely ever die on her just because of her long range and whatnot. Uh, and her ult is just so much fun to play around with. Uh, she can 1v1 uh, lane, she can do 1v2, she's a great lane partner, so uh, so she's pretty versatile in that regard. Um, so anyways, what you're gonna, I'm just going to show you guys uh, how I play some Lux, uh, show you the different combos and how you kind of want to use her ult in different situations. Uh, as you can see here, I'm actually doing a 1v2 lane and I just... Uh, I was just doing a little bit of harass with my E spell, and I've got the Kenning pretty low, and I just popped six. What he doesn't know is I'm going to stand back here out of his vision and uh, show him what's up. Booyah! Look at that! Take it down, but Kenning, he didn't even know what was going to happen. So, here we go, Lux. Her first spell is the Q Light Binding. She'll release a sphere of light that binds and deals damage to up to two enemy units, dealing 50% effect to the second unit that struck. Now, you're going to be using this a lot in your team fights to try and bind uh, enemy champions for your team to start doing damage. You're not always going to get a kill with it. It's not the best damage until you get really late game. Um, but let me just kind of show you uh, this little team fight where I do use it to land our team two separate kills. So first I'm going to shoot out my, my E spell, do a little bit of extra damage, lead her up with the Q, and do a little combo, hit the whole T with my ult. Uh, Gallery tries to jump in, but he gets stopped by Udir, and uh, we do take that girl out. Um, so I'm going to go in here and try and pop a few more spells in. I don't really do anything with my E spell that time, but I do pop Annie with my Q spell that time. Uh, all right, Katarina comes in and tries to clean it up. She gets gets ulted so she saved but look in there on the mini map and twitch comes from behind messiah takes him out very nice so prismatic barrier is her w spell lux throws her wand and bends the light around any friendly target it touches protecting them from enemy damage uh, this you're going to want to throw down every single time it's up especially in your t fights obviously it's going to protect all your enemy champions and it can hit twice i like to use it when gallery does his ult is a really good timing um, there's only one person here on the ult but i do pop it just in time he does get protected from the damage and and we we're able to take out Galio. Booyah! So, uh, moving on, we got uh, Lucent Singularity. This is the spell you're going to be leveling up first. It fires an anomaly of twisted light to an area which slows nearby enemies. Lux can detonate it to damage enemies in an area of effect. So, if you've played uh, Gragas, it's kind of like his barrel. Um, you can leave it in an area, so if they walk in, they'll be slowed down. Uh, but usually, I'll just pop it right away. So, I'm going to show you a few clips of me harassing with it. It's going to be your main harassing spell uh, early game. And I'm just going to throw it like behind the enemy champions where they go and uh, pop it out as soon as I get a chance chance. And uh, this is just some of my laning footage here. And I just keep popping on the Ash because I know that the, the Shen's he's too tanky and he's just going to um, block a lot of that damage. And we really want to push this Ash out of the lane. So I'm just going to keep throwing it down behind him. And uh, hopefully, me being in the bush, they don't know that I'm going to be throwing it down so she doesn't have time to react before I, uh, before I get it off. And as you can see, I got her so low now that uh, one more hit and she's going to get the heck out of here. She's going to have to go back or I will kill her. Um, finally, once you get your ult, it's no longer child's play. Other gathering energy, Lux fires a beam of light that deals damage to all targets in the area. She fires her laser. This is so much fun. You can use it for farming creeps, and actually, the cooldown is so short, you're going to want to use it every single time it's up. Um, so, if there's no enemies around to harass, then just go ahead and shoot creeps. If you can shoot an enemy and creeps at the same time, it's perfect for that. You can also use it for uh, getting the um, the neutral creep buffs. If you have a you have a ward and the enemy's getting it, go ahead and try and steal it. Or if your allies are nice enough, then let them uh, give it to you. Go ahead and take it from the lane and just keep on pushing. And right here, you can see that the range is pretty nice. Actually, it didn't look like it was going to hit her, but it did. So you can use it to. Uh, it's really hard to get out of it. So what you want to do is every single time your ult's up, stand out of their vision range and go ahead and line up your shot and boom, blast them with it. Every single chance you get, go ahead and do that because it's going to be nice. If you uh, if you can't get out of range, just go ahead and shoot your Q and then uh, like hit them with it while they're stunned and locked down. Um, what's cool is that it's just it's just a big surprise when it comes out and it's really hard to dodge if you don't know that it's coming. Right now I'm level five and I just uh, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of harass here. Pop them down. That does level me up and they don't really notice it. I hit six, boom, blast them out and I finish her off with a kill. So uh, that's how you want to play Lux. Is you want to be shooting that ult every single chance you get. 
and uh, just doing as much harass as possible because you're not a big uh, damage target. Now her passive is going to be a spell that every time you hit somebody with a with a spell, boom, it charges them up, and uh, and if you hit them again with a melee attack, then it will ignite that. Now if you saw that Annie's health right there, if I would have auto attacked after each one of my spells, she would be dead right now. Now I was a little too scared to get close. In this clip here, you're going to see a shotgun try and pop out on me, and uh, here's why I do my combo. So I hit him. Auto attack, hit him, auto attack, and then I forgot to pop my E right there. If you notice the lucent singularity, it's still it'll still on the ground. If I would have popped that, that would have done a little bit more damage, but uh, I was kind of in a hurry there and I just kind of messed that up. But as you can see, that is the combo. First time you go back, you want to get some items on her. Uh, I like to start off with your Mejai's Soul Stealer boots and then a blue pot. Uh, in this clip, I was only able to get uh, wards after the Mejai's, so I'm going to put those down. After the Mejai's, though, you want to go for a Lich Bane and a. Uh, a Zonia's ring, and that's going to give you the AP you need. Now, since you're going to be auto attacking to pop that passive, the Lich Bane is going to give you a lot of extra damage, and she really doesn't have that much damage. Uh, as far as final items, I don't know. I don't really get that far in a game ever, but uh, you can go for support stuff, defensive items. Just do whatever the game um, depends on you getting. So uh, here in this clip, I I was putting down some wards, and I saw Galio pushed up a little bit too far, so I come in and just take his butt out. See ya, son. All right. Um, let's go ahead and jump into some runes. Uh, on her, I like to go for the Magic Pin Reds, Cooldown Blues, Flat, and uh, Quintessence will go for Ability Power and Mana Regen on the Yellows. That's going to cost you about right under 16,000 IP points to get all of that rune page set up. As far as Masteries are concerned, I go for the 9021, getting the reduced cooldowns, uh, Mana Regen, uh, improved Ghost and Flash, which are my summoner abilities. And uh, now we're ready to roll. So let's look into uh, some footage of the of some gameplay. So I'm running up to this team fight here. Gonna try and do my ultimate to do as much damage as possible. I'll wait for them to all group up. They're on that Galio ultimate and boom, hit all five doing massive damage. As you can see, they're all low and they're gonna have to run out of there. And basically everybody dies. I'm able to last hit the Katarina with an auto attack. And unfortunately that Nidalee does get away. Uh, there was a whiffed ash arrow coming up from the mid lane, no big deal. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and pick off this Shuckle with an ult. Boom! Just barely hitting him, and he's very low on health. Already used his Q spell to get away. I'm going to try and catch him with mine, and I kind of whiffed that, and he's just juking the heck out of me, and I'm just kind of not doing really well with my ability, but I'm going to try and come in here and just zone him out so that he cannot run away and this Warwick's going to keep an eye out on him with his passive and now she's taken out and I'm just going to go ahead and shield up Rex so he doesn't die from that ignite and we safely make it out alive. Here we go, I'm actually coming back from the fountain, my ultimate is up, and I see that there's a very low Morgana running away from that cannon minion, and I don't want her to get away, no siree, I line it up and booyah, take her out! Heck yeah, that is so exciting when that happens. And uh, here we go in this fight. I've actually uh, kind of getting pushed back. Our team is losing pretty bad and they're pretty far ahead. But I do a last minute Q. Just barely able to hit that uh, Zillion taking him out. Once again, still pushing at the tower. He's back for some more. I'm going to throw down some Q. Doing pretty massive damage right now. I'm doing so much. And I uh, just keep myself alive. Try and do a little bit of poke. And that's what you can do with her and now I line up my ultimate I know that he's low and BAM take him out he had no idea that was coming uh, he probably was going to try and teleport out but I said no sir <laughs> it's my kill <clears throat> here in this clip I'm actually doing the landing phase I've already taken out the tower the sivir is just a little bit out of position now that her tower's down so I plop my ultimate doing massive damage and the uh, the guy is able to pick up the kill, no problem. And here we go. I'm actually helping out the Pidis with his cart that's going to try and do as much damage to Pirate as possible. I locked him down just long enough for him to catch up. And here we go. I'm going to throw down my ultimate, hitting three or four people there. And boom, there goes the cart that's ultimate, taking them out. And actually, I think the Sivir lived there because of their her uh, pa her little uh, shield, but that's, that's not too big of a deal. And boom, I do a little bit of an ultimate there, which enables Messiah on Twitch to get that kill. Sweet. Here we go, uh, Karthus just got taken out, but I am not going to allow them to make it out alive. There we go, Kenan. No, sir, you're not teleporting away. Boom, my kill. And I just walk away safely after that. Here comes this Teemo here, trying to push the lane. I'm not going to let that happen. We have an Ash Arrow coming in, as well as my Q. And he's like, oh, no, now the tower's hitting him. I'm going to do my ultimate massive damage with my passive. And one more auto attack, and he gets taken out. Sweet. And there you go, boys and girls.
Hey guys, thanks for sticking around and watching the video. Definitely subscribe up top. Send your comments down below. Add me on Facebook and Twitter. And be sure to check out the website, kobecheese.com. And I'll see you guys around for the next one. Peace out.